Irish Griffiths back again with another update from the Code Enforcement Office. I wanted to give a little information about condemnation versus unsafe or unsanitary postings. Unfortunately, I've had multiple properties throughout the town that I've had to post as unsafe due to various concerns, typically structural or unsanitary due to hoarding situations inside. Those notices are used in place of the condemnation notices that some people um, have seen around previously over the past couple of decades. The reason for that is because condemnation is an actual legal proceeding that has to go through the courts. I cannot post a building with a condemnation notice unless the select board has approved for the town of Berwick to, to go through the courts to condemn the property. I can post anything unsafe or unsanitary provided it does not meet all of the current building codes or all of the, the health safety issues. If there's hoarding, if it's unsafe air quality, those types of things would get you an unsanitary posting. Unsafe would be if there is any major electrical, plumbing, or structural deficiencies that could put somebody at risk being in the house at any point in time. Now there are a couple of more key differences, so I'm going to cover how each one of these items works. With a condemnation notice, I would have to send a notice, a service, to the person who owns the property. We would have the meeting with the select board. It would, it would happen in front of a select board meeting where I would present my evidence as to why I am deeming this property a dangerous structure and the person who owns it would have an opportunity to present their side, whether that be why they disagree with my findings, because everybody is welcome to disagree with my findings, or if they have a plan in place and they're already working on it, they could present that information to the select board. If the select board finds that I'm correct and that it is a dangerous building, I would then be allowed to have our attorneys for the town pursue action through court, which would allow the town to either make repairs or if needed, demolish and remove the entire structure. And then the town would have the legal right to place a lien on the property for, for when it sells to recoup our funds that we've spent doing this or try and go after the actual property owner. That is obviously a last step. The town of Berwick has absolutely no interest in owning anybody's home property we don't want to displace people. We don't want to tear down things. We're just not in that business. My business is good if you guys are building and repairing. So what we do instead is unsafe structures or unsanitary postings. So when I post those, the other thing that happens with the condemnation notice is I can get the sheriffs to go in there and take people right out of the building because they can't be there. It's condemned. An unsafe or unsanitary structure gets posted. You'll see my red notices on quite a few houses here in town now. Um, a lot of them are just abandoned and in, in stasis as far as who might own it or who might purchase it. Uh, some are active building areas, uh, people that are living in them, and I'm trying to get these people into a safer condition. Um, when you see those notices, what that means is that there are violations in there that are significant in my eyes and in the eyes of the code enforcement books. And I can tell people that they should not be in there. Those postings, they actually say on there not to be in there without notifying my office. A couple reasons for that. First of all, I want anybody who's setting foot in an unsafe structure to talk to me so that they know why it's unsafe, what potential hazards they may be facing. I don't want anybody getting hurt if it can be avoided. The other reason for that is some of these structures, as I've said, are unoccupied and the police keep a closer eye on those properties to make sure that we don't have any uh, shenanigans occurring in them with people coming in, squatting, you know, kids breaking in, partying. We don't want any of that stuff here in town, especially not in an unsafe structure. Um, when I post those, I can warn you about the risks but I cannot actually physically remove you from the home. So if a property is posted and you see somebody living in it, they've been advised, they've been informed, they know the risk and it's a risk they're choosing to take. And while I may not agree with it, I have no legal means to get them out. 
if you have any questions about any of these structures or you want to report any others that may not have come across my plate yet in the six months I've been here, please feel free to reach out to me, 698-1101. If you dial extension 124, you'll reach my receptionist, my administrative assistant, and she will take all of that information and make sure that I get it. Uh, if it requires a call back because you're looking for information, she'll make sure I do that as well. Okay, thank you very much.